Starting today with the RTX 2060 Super, we're gonna pair it up with this uh, Xeon W3690. I'm gonna see how it's running. I'm gonna see which, who is going to bottleneck. This is the main question. This is what I want to see. Because last time we had the 2060 and uh, it was nearly at the edge. And hopefully now this um, GPU can put uh, some uh, load on the CPU. Regardless, this 2060 Super, it was uh, released in 2019. It's got 2,176 shaders, 8 gig of VRAM, 256 bits bus width, running at 1,470 megahertz on the core clock with 1,750 megahertz on the memory. By all means, this is a fantastic video card even today. And hopefully those six cores and uh, six threads Now we're good. Let's jump into some games. <laughs> okay, let's jump into GTA 5 and see how it's running. I got everything on maximum details and see how GTA 5 is running with this uh, whole system. Uh, no frame scale, scale mode off and uh, hopefully it will be okay. Okay, we're in GTA 5 online. I think the game is actually running really nice, even though it's got like 40 FPS on average. It's, the number is not with me, seriously. And I know the hyper threads are not uh, helping me on this case, because uh, even though it's got like 12 hyper threads, it's, it's still not uh, enough. They are not fast hyper threads, you know, so... I'm guessing that is the reason. Even if it's on uh, low FPS, I think... Uh, the, um, the gameplay is fantastic because it's got maximum details, you know, and uh, you know that there's no point on actually having high details when you play online because you don't need it. Your ideal would be 60 FPS and uh, that's it, you know, with lowest details so you can do the missions. I'm not interested in highest details from a video card and a system, a system that uh, can barely manage to deliver that FPS. In the casino, apparently, we are getting 30 FPS. Hopefully, better minimas will be will be ideal. But uh, hence, why I come here because of the of the stress on the CPU. <laughs> All right, let's see if we spin the wheel. Maybe we get uh, some money and uh, not a t-shirt anymore. Oh, please don't give me t-shirt. Please don't give me t-shirt. Usually, it does this because it's karma. What the. F What the frack? Did I want the car? He got the fucking t shirt. <laughs> oh, sorry, fam. <laughs> what a sad day. Oh my god, I got a Lamborghini. This is not the first car that I won. I think I got two cars by now. Every I'm afraid about the cars, you know, because every single time I, I win a car, I come here and waste like 500. What a beautiful car to win in GTA 5. Now I lost 300, 200, nearly $300,000 to upgrade it like this, but it's worth it. Can we take it for a spin and see how it's running? Oh, look at the speed. Holy sh bananas on this one it works i got like 50 fps i don't even know why i have now 50 fps seriously look at it 52 fps 40 around 50 fps i don't know maybe in the night it's much uh, harder on the on, on the system who knows let's take uh, a ride into the city maybe because it's populated here with i think the density of the the cars and people it's much higher here on the street you know, normal roads, you get like 50 FPS. On this road, I got like 30, 40 FPS. The GPU is getting like 70% uh, load on the core. 64% uh, uh, of the VRAM is used for, to get this. Uh, I can actually see, hear the fan is throttling because uh, I, I said to the to the fan, you know what, keep my GPU cool under 80 degrees, you know? So when you reach 70 something, it starts uh, throttling the, uh, that fan, you know? So. I can actually see it's pumping the I can hear the the fan pumping so you can keep that 70 degrees 70 degrees it's actually okay when you deliver this amount of FPS you know so there's no complaining there's literally no complaining let's test Apex Legends we're gonna see how it's running with 1080p on uh, lowest details because 
uh, this is quite a fantastic uh, system, you know, and I think it can deliver the performance if you want to play with an LJ1366 uh, W3690. Okay, let's see how it's running the show. Oh, we're gonna die super fast. Maximum course. Seriously, 70 degrees on the CPU, that's actually interesting. Only 7 gig of system RAM is used, but the VRAM on the GPU is maxed out. The, the core on the GPU is nearly maxed out, so hopefully everything will be okay with this uh, video card. 80% nearly on the, on the video card. Damn. fantastic okay so cpu wise i'm apparently i'm doing really great with uh, this uh, xeon i'm not joking I, I really like how it's performing so overall i think that the cpu is quite nice with this uh, apex legends even though it's you can actually see like 50 percent load on the on the core i think the hyper threads are like uh, on the limit but regardless i think the whole th situation with this game is uh, very positive you know 140 fps on average 72 on minimal and one percent uh, 100 those are extraordinary numbers you can actually get a high-end monitor and uh, get a lot of uh, uh, fps seriously look at this this is this is great do i have any complaint about this no you can actually see the cores are uh, being pushed to the limit is doing its job the cpu uh, i'm 100 percent sure with a with a proper main board not uh, this uh, om computer you can uh, even get better fps let's jump into fortnite i think on performance mode this uh, xeon will do really nice with this uh, 2060 super i'm gonna see how it's running performance mode with low details and uh, yeah let's jump in and see how it's running okay we're in the air and uh, i'm actually curious how it's running Ooh, let's, just, let's take some other places like that um I already got some nice FPS so, uh, with this uh, system and I think uh, there will be no regrets from, uh, from the system. In the air apparently we are getting over 100 FPS, 150 exactly, but uh, there is no load on the memory, on the VRAM from the video card. The GPU is barely used, around 40%. The system RAM 7.8 gig of system RAM. Uh, I'm 100% sure the moment we reach the ground we will get uh, different um, uh, usage from the system but I just want to see how the system is running in the air I'm not gonna complain about it because I got over 100 FPS uh, 150 FPS 170 exactly not good minimals though 1% uh, is nearly 100 uh, FPS with 20% uh, uh, VRAM load that's uh, exactly what I'm expecting from this uh, uh, video card and uh, the game on performance mode I'm not gonna judge I'm not gonna say it's bad I'm not gonna say it's uh, good because because of the minimals and that's it the code load is nearly 40% but uh, CPU it's uh, kind of interesting because it's got a lot of load on the core you know on this quality it's it's good you know i'm not I'm not gonna change it I, I will use performance mode with this uh, cpu and this gpu regardless based on the monitor that i have so if i put i can put it on 120 fps and that's it lock it there no more then i will distress the whole situation on the system the cores are doing a fantastic job you know but uh, you can actually see they are not uh, super low they are a little used Oh, there is no struggle. The FPS is there. The only thing it's missing is that minimal. But aside from that, uh, everything is working flawlessly. The CPU is still holding, uh, and uh, the only thing as a guidance is the temperature, 66 degrees, 67 sometimes. And I think it's uh, it's an indication that uh, it's reaching to to some limits maybe you can put the fan on maximum let's jump into cross out and see how this game is performing i know it's got a lot of uh, potential because um, uh, nvidia dlss is set on auto because i set it on uh, high details and this is the preset that is on and that's it i'm gonna disable uh, vsync and see the struggle on the cpu and the gpu so what do you think oh it looks fantastic 
Let's jump in. We got like nice FPS with uh, with this system. Uh, the GPU is not maxed out, 50%, 33% uh, on the VRAM. That's actually good from the VRAM standpoint of uh, this video card in the system. The GPU apparently is getting 60, 70 uh, percent load on the core and is reaching 70 degrees. It's a good temperature, you know, because I made a profile and hopefully it will uh, hold. It will not kick in and uh, get ourselves busted. Oh my god, somebody's coming here. 140 FPS on average with 97 on... 97 on minimal, actually. That's a good number. 75 degrees on the GPU, but getting hot, seriously. But regardless, wow, the system is doing a fantastic job, but it's mega loaded. The cores are loaded, the system is loaded. Aside from the system RAM that is only using 6, six gig of system RAM, that is good. But I noticed when I was in, um, uh, I was in uh, point of view with my car, uh, with my car, I had a lot of uh, load on the cores and it was really, really, really loaded, seriously. But look at the GPU, man. With RTX on, I think it's DLSS. DLSS is, is on, and I think it's on auto, and hence why I get uh, this uh, temperature. But I told the GPU, you know what, just ramp it up, and if you reach uh, this temperature, just ramp out the fan and try to cool as much as possible. All right, so the core load on the GPU is 89% load on the core. 100% load on the core. Oh, wow. 70 degrees. Oh my god, it's ramping up the fan. <laughs> Let's jump into World of Tanks and see how it's running with uh, the system. I set it up on Ultra because I want to see maxed out. And I think this game can actually, how should I say, stress the system a little. But my favorite part about this game is that uh, majority of the time when I want to find, um, how should I say, the lowest TDP, I can use World of Tanks because it makes it really easy for me to de-stress the whole system so let's jump in and see how it's running with maximum details in world of tanks oh definitely it's working seriously i'm not complaining seriously nothing here can say otherwise so the system is capable overall this is one of those games that i would really like to play on a system like this the load on the gpu is getting higher and higher 70 percent load on the core the gpu i can actually see the gpu is getting hot you know the memory load it's uh, reaching 50% from 40%. I think we, with just a little time in the game apparently starting to load. But the averages are quite nice over 100 FPS. This means uh, it gives me the opportunity to go in the settings and uh, activate VSync. So I activated VSync. Let's see how it, uh, the system is performing now. Okay, look at it. So the code load it just man went from uh, 80%, 70, 80, how much? To half so the, the the core is now half loaded um, vram 40 percent uh, for actually the vram is still the same half of the vram is used uh cpu load quite good seriously not not that bad 30 percent load on the core <laughs> on the cpu not uh, not even a, a little stress seriously it's 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 good to see that uh, with VSync on the game performs much better. You know, the minimals is only twenty three, so yeah, I don't really care because this is not a fast paced game, so I don't care about the minimals here. If you put it on high details, I think the stress will be even lower on the on the GPU. But it's good, it's good, it's good to know that this old CPU can actually do the job. I like how the GPU is performing with this CPU. I like overall how the computer is performing with this video card. Um, everything is okay i will leave it like this so i will put the cover use it every day and i think this will be an ideal system overall if you want to make a computer with low budget this is how it needs to be z400 with a w3690 with an rtx 2060 super perfect perfect system i love how it's performing um can I uh, suggest other video cards? No, actually, I want to put uh, lower GPUs. I mean, older GPUs or um, less more less performant than this uh, 2060 Super. I just wanted to see the best video card for it, and I managed to succeed. 2060 Super is the card, seriously, for this uh, HP Z400.